The most common reason that I come across for people taking out insurance is to protect their loved ones and to protect their family. But often, one thing that's overlooked is what actually happens if something happens to your kids. Now, it's hard enough talking about insurance, so I can understand that taking that next step and talking about anything from an insurance perspective happening to your kids, but this is such an important message to get out. And once I've spoken to my clients about the importance of doing this, almost 100% of people end up taking up a small policy for their kids just to give them that peace of mind that if anything goes wrong, that they know from a financial perspective that they're taken care of. I've grouped this video into five main categories. The first category being who it's for. The second category being for what does it cover. Thirdly, I'll touch on why it's so important to have. Fourth category is gonna be around how to get this done. The fifth category we'll look at is some strategies that you can implement right away to make sure that you've got this protection without costing you any more than you're already spending. I'm respectful of your time as well, so I've broken each of these categories down and timestamped them for you in the notes below. So if you want to jump ahead, please feel free to click on the button and it'll take you straight through to the section that you need. Hi there, it's Craig Bigelow, the founder and head insurance expert at True Pride. I bring out videos like this three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. The goal of these videos is trying to remove some of the complexities around insurance and help you make better decisions about your insurance. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So the first category that we'll look at today is who is this child cover for and who am I talking to today? So if you're listening and you have kids between the age of two and 15, this video is for you. Now, normal bumps and bruises are part of being a kid, but one thing that we need to be mindful of is if something goes wrong to one of our kids that's one of the major nasties, we're gonna do whatever it takes to get better. So kids trauma provides you a backup that from a financial perspective, it gives you some money to take care of your kids in the best way that you can without having to worry too much about the financial pressures. The second category, let's have a bit of a look at what it covers. The kids' trauma policies cover anywhere from 16 to 35 conditions, but broadly speaking, they're quite similar in their makeup. The types of things that are covered are anything from burns, coma, cancers, right through to terminal illness or death itself. For most of these providers, the entry age for these policies is, is when your kids turn two, and the latest that they can apply for cover is when they turn 15. The policies stay in place until your kids turn 21 in most cases, but just check with your, your policy provider for the specifics around this. The third category we're gonna look at is why do you need this cover in the first place or why you should consider it? I'm not a parent myself, but from the parents that I deal with, I don't know any of them that wouldn't do whatever it takes, no matter what, to make sure that their kids are okay. The other thing to note that is that if anything happens to your kids, one of you or both of you become the primary carer in most instances for your kid to make sure that they get better as soon as possible. What this does is it typically has a downward pressure on your income, meaning you need to take extended time away from work without any policies that you can personally claim on yourself. So this is a double-edged sword being the fact that you've got less income coming in and potentially more medical expenses to make sure that your kids are okay. Having the kids trauma policy in place helps give you some peace of mind that at the time that you need to spend the time with your kids, you've got the financial ability to do this without worrying too much about those pressures or burdens of the finances. The fourth category we're gonna look at is how this actually works. The cost of this policy is significantly less than what it is for an adult. So each $10,000 worth of cover will cost you about $100 per year per kid. The way that this works is it's actually added to the policies that you already have in place. So bear in mind that if you have a policy at the moment, this will be an additional premium to what you're already paying. For most people that I deal with, in terms of cover levels, they end up applying for anywhere between $50,000 and $100,000 worth of cover. But you can apply for up to $250,000 with most of these providers per child. My experience is that any type of cover in this scenario is gonna be better than nothing if you need it. So bear in mind that if you are doing this, just make sure that it's affordable with your budget that you have put aside for insurance. The fifth category we're gonna have a quick look at is some strategies that I use to make sure that this fits in with your overall insurance budget. Now for most people, once you've made a decision on how much money you're prepared to spend on insurance, any additional cost that is added to this just becomes a bit more of a burden. The first thing that we look at often is simply reducing the amount of cover that you have personally for the two of you, maybe your husband and wife, reduce the sums insured for you slightly to accommodate the additional premiums for the kids that you take on under this policy. What this does is make a small impact to the cover that you actually have in place, but give you a greater, broader protection for your family in the event of anything going wrong to any of you. The second key strategy is to touch base with your provider and ask them whether or not any of this covers included in your policies that you already have in place. There are some providers in the market that offer a free kids trauma policy, so check to make sure that you don't have any of this included in your policy already. 
I know insurance is really confusing and the fact that I can bring out three videos a week shows that there's so much that you need to know. So if you have questions about the insurance, I'd love for you to send them through to me. Get in touch and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. Thanks again for watching. I hope you found it helpful and we'll see you all next time.